Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today I have some very exciting news for those of you in the realm of jailbreaking. An iOS 10 jailbreak of sorts has been released. Now this is still a technical jailbreak. Before you guys get too excited, this is very similar to the one that I actually detailed previously, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're incredibly excited about the upcoming public usable iOS 10 jailbreak and the prospect of finally being able to jailbreak your device on iOS 10. So let's get into exactly what's going on today. Now, for those of you who do remember the video that I released a few days ago concerning Ian Beer of Google's Project Zero, you'll know that he actually released the first public iOS 10.1.1 technical jailbreak of sorts, definitely not usable by really anyone whatsoever and also limited on device support because he only had an iPad mini 2 and an iPod touch 6 gen to test with. Now to give you guys a quick rundown of what he actually did for full details, definitely check out the video linked in your cards as well as down below in the description. He essentially discovered numerous exploits inside of iOS pre iOS 10.2, passed them along to Apple, Apple addressed them and corrected them, meaning they're now patched inside of iOS 10.2, and he then took it a step further and actually compiled those exploits into a very, very bare bones jailbreak of sorts. Very technical stuff, but not usable by us, the end users. Now, Luca Tedesco has essentially built upon that as the foundation of sorts, and we have another technical jailbreak that's just one step above what was released by Ian Beer. Now, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to switch on over to Luca Tedesco's release page. All right, so here we go. This is the page that Luca has officially included download links for this jailbreak of sorts. Now, there's some interesting stuff said here but essentially the key takeaway comes right here in bold quote do not install unless you know what you are doing now essentially this is an xcode project that you have to side load onto your device and this like the one released by ian beer only works on select devices being the iphone 7 on 10.1.1 and the iphone 6s and ipad pro on any version of ios 10 but it's limited to those three devices and the first of which the iphone 7 only only on iOS 10.1.1. Now, this is not going to be usable by you guys. Unfortunately, it does not contain substrate and therefore it will not install Cydia onto your device either. So you won't be able to have any sort of a user interface for obtaining and acquiring and of course installing third party tweaks or modifications onto your device. So if you guys aren't developers, then you really won't be able to do anything with this jailbreak anyway. That's the main thing here. And because this is an Xcode project, you can't simply install it but that could change very soon. Things are moving quickly as far as this jailbreak is concerned. In fact, as Sorik said on Twitter, quote, I contacted Luca this morning when I saw the post about it being an Xcode project, wondering why it wasn't an IPA, noting that if he didn't provide an IPA file, people were likely to start getting unofficial and possibly modified slash malware builds from other people. He told me that he had some minor thing that would need to be changed in Impactor, Wish he had contacted me a few days ago with that, but now I'm rushing to add functionality to Impactor to make it possible to install this. So very great stuff from Sorik. Also guys, just a very quick post recording update. After I finished recording this video, Sorik tweeted out, quote, for those of you who dare to experience Luca's unstable slash glitchy beta jailbreak IPA for iOS 10.0 through 10.1.1, Cydia Impactor 0.9.35 is ready. And of course, he has updated City Impactor now to said version. It's ready to install the IPA version of what Luca Tedesco released in Xcode format. However, I will say this, nothing has changed. It's still very unstable, glitchy. It doesn't install Substrate or, of course, Cydia. So again, like I said, we're going to have to hang in there for a public usable jailbreak. And of course, because the chain of exploits is deliverable via an application for the initial unsigned code execution, what that means is that this will not be a full untethered jailbreak. This will be very similar to the jailbreak released by Pangu for iOS 9.3.x, essentially using an application 
on your device that you sideload. That's really it as of now, guys. Again, do not install this whatsoever. Luca Tedesco does also say that this is very unstable and it runs the risk of potentially forcing you into a restore. So you guys don't want to have to forfeit your potential ability to jailbreak on iOS 10.1.x. Best to wait until things are stable. I'll let you guys know every step of the way. Be sure to click that subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And then of course, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.